Hi ho! I'm the author of Databeak and this is the first of a series of video tutorials about my software. In this first episode we will install Databeak, see a very basic configuration and we'll end up producing a really simple web database application. Absolutely no coding required. So even if you don't know PHP, that's fine. Okay, first of all, which is our aim. Uh, we want to produce a simple back-end application for a music e-commerce store which sells records online. Cool. Firstly, we have to design the database. I use MySQL for this tutorial, even if Databeak can be used with PostgreSQL and SQLite as well. I'll use MySQL Workbench for creating the database. With Databeak, in fact, you can't create the database schema. There are many good softwares for that, so Databeak focuses instead on creating the application which will use the database. Okay, um, I, call, I call the database, uh, let's say, music store. I create for this tutorial just two tables, it's enough to show you some uh, data big features. Uh, first table, this contains the information about uh, musicians, just to fill, ID artist, which is integer, uh, primary key, not null, and auto increment, so that MySQL will handle that when I will insert um, a new artist. And name artist. Large R, let's say 100, not now. Okay. Second table. Albums, ID album, title album, price album, uh, I would say load, and finally ID artist. This will contain the artist of the album, but just his ID, because with the ID through the artist table I can get the name as well. This should be set as a foreign key in my SQL, but let's keep this thing maybe for another uh, episode. Okay, cool. Now I can install Databeak. First of all, I create a dedicated folder under my web server root. I call it Music Store Backend. Then I take the 4.4 official uh, release and copy all the files contained in the program files folder into the folder I've just created. Okay, let's wait for the uh, copy procedure to be finished. The next step is gonna be um, filling a few configuration parameters before actually uh, install uh, Databeak.
Okay. Five seconds and we are done. Okay. So I open the configuration file and fill a few uh, parameters. So DBMS type, which is my SQL uh, host, which is local host, DB name, which is music store, database user, which is my name, password, which is this one. URL which is localhost slash music store backend and again here side pad which is a slash music store backend slash. I also enable authentication. Okay, now I can open the browser and run the file install.php. Done! Databeak is correctly installed. I could already use it, but I would like to do at least a, a basic configuration, so I go to the admin section and then to the interface configurator. I will use the default account to enter, that is username root and password Letitia. Of course, uh, you need. Um, of course, you need to change the default root password, otherwise your database installation won't be secure at all. Okay, here I can choose how to handle each single field of my application. Let's start with the artist table ID field. Okay, this field is not useful from a user point of view, so I decide to hide it from all the pages of my application. So, then no, no. No. Okay. And save. Name artist. I want to show everywhere this field, so the default configuration is okay. But I change the label. Uh, name artist is the typical field name that a database administrator gives, but our final users just want to see name. I guess. So just name. Um, I leave everything else as it is. The text box is the right field type to handle the artist name. Alphanumeric is the right content type. I just set uh, this field uh, as required and uh, set the size of the text box because I, I want it bigger than it is by default. Next table, albums. Exactly the same thing. So ID. No, 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 no. Title. Price. In this case, I choose numeric instead of alpha numeric. Okay, and finally, ID artist. Okay, this is the most complex things we will see in this first episode. We want to handle this field as a list box. So 
When we add a new album, we don't want to type the artist's name by hand, which is a tedious process and could lead to mistakes. We just want to choose the artist from a list of existing artists that comes from our artist table. Uh, to get this done, which is select single from here, and uh, we specify how to get the listed items here. We say um, take them from the artist table, The field in the artist table that is, let's say, linked to the one we are configuring now is ID artist, which is the primary key of the artist table. Artist. But the value that we want to show to our users is not ID artist, but name artist. Save. Done. Okay, guys. Um, we have just developed our first database application in a few minutes and without any coding. Let's try it. Our artist and album archives are completely empty at the moment. So let's start adding some artists. So, for example, the Beatles. And uh, ready head. Then we switch to the albums table and we add, uh, let's say, help. By the Beatles. As you can see, this list box is populated with the artists we have just added. As you can see, we have created a very simple but complete CRUD web application. We can add new records, modify existing records, we can delete, we can also search. For example, let's search um, all the albums having the word help, the title. The results can be ordered and are presented uh, in uh, pages. We can see the pagination now because we have just a few records. We can also export our data in comma separated value format. This is useful to load the data in a program like uh, Microsoft Excel or OpenOffice Card, for example. Okay, that's all for this episode. There are still many, many things we can do, but this is just a pilot episode, so please let me know your feedback directly on YouTube or on the Databeek website, uh, databeek.org, or even in the Databeek Facebook page. See you soon. Stay tuned. Ciao.